All right, what's going on, my friends? It is me. The lighting is probably terrible because I, I didn't, I don't know what's going on with it. I'm just, I don't usually show myself when I'm just doing a trade recap. So I wanted to just check in with you guys, mainly because it's been a while. Also, there's a bunch of fake pages on Instagram, so I figured you guys might want to see me here as well. It might help a little bit. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I do apologize that I haven't made a video in a while. I just kind of been busy with life. Kind of hits you out of nowhere with certain things. It's like, man. Sheesh. I mean, it's just so much going on. One, just like my house itself has been kind of like falling apart for lack of a better word. I've had some problems with the water and the piping and then we fixed it. Then it happened again and then the trees fell from the wind and then it broke the sprinklers and it's just like been a lot to deal with there. Then one of my tenants moved out. So I've been renovating and refixing and just prepping of that property and everything. So that's been another thing to kind of be on top of and keep track of and deal with people with. And then, you know, just, just, okay. If you follow me on Instagram, you know the deal. So I don't want to waste your time going over all that. Um, but I guess welcome to another video here. Hopefully just a little heads up. If I do disappear again, it's probably because, you know, I'm not done with the house or the other one or anything like that. So I'm just kind of checking in cause I got some time right now. Um, so I'm not quite back yet, but that doesn't mean I'm just gone. You know, you guys know where you can find me. Um, uh, but in this video, we're going to do a quick trade recap just for old time's sake and all that on a trade that I did where we turned about 3,600 into about $13,000 profit. I didn't do the math yet. We're going to do the math together right now when we jump into it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's jump right into it then. The trade that we're going to be going over was a swing trade in particular on this one. Now I did the math real briefly here. And basically what we're working with is I can explain it in a few different ways. Number one, I can say we put 3,600 in and with that 3,600 investment, we made a profit of 13,650. Or we can basically say like we almost like eight times our profit or like an 800%. We almost... 10 times that if you really think of it when I break it down for you guys, depending on how you look at it. But I just like to lay it all out for you guys one way or another. So it depends. I don't know. Everybody looks at things differently. So maybe that'll help kind of, you know, help you navigate as we go through this. So basically we were trading it to the downside. So we were trading puts. It was an options trade. For those of you that are new, puts means you make money when the stock goes down. So I don't know. I just figure I like to emphasize all that stuff just in case. I don't know if everyone's here new or old or not. But if you're a new trader completely, we make money when the market goes down. And we do so by, well, you have two ways you can do it. You can short shares or you can trade puts. In this scenario, I was trading puts. And this one was also from the watch list as well. You can see it here. It was into it that we were trading. We were trading it short. So basically I said that I'm going to be, I wanted to get short right around the 425 area. And that was basically the plan there. And this is on the swing trade side of the watch list here. And this, the watch list is something that I just update each night with a game plan for what we're going to be watching. We have a, a, there's the day trading side and there's the swing trading side. So as I had mentioned, this was a swing trade. So obviously this is from like the swing trading side here. And I put it on about two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. And I just closed it out this, well, what, Monday, I believe. We'll get into it and look at all of that here. So this is basically the trade that I want to go over. And we're going to kind of reference back to this little watch list thing. That way it's easier for you guys to see the plan and everything. But let me take you guys over to the orders real briefly. We're going to go over that, go over the times and everything. Then we're going to take it back to the chart and kind of finalize it there. And then we'll wrap up the video. That way it's not, hopefully not going to be too long of a video. It's, it's, it's hit or miss with me. Either it's really, really quick, like too quick, or it's just like we're here forever. So hopefully I can find a balance. We'll see. Um... So I had to set it back quite a few days because of the fact that, well, wait, am I still behind? Oh my goodness. I got to go back more days. Sheesh, guys, time flies. I've been meaning to make this video for you guys for like the past, like literally the past week, I guess. Um, man, it's just, there's just so much to do, you know? And then, like I said, right now it's 10 PM for me and I had two options. It's either, okay, I can text people back because I have a list of like people that I need to get back to or I could, you know, make this video that I've had on my list forever. I said, you know what, man, if you don't do it now, you're not going to do it. So I, I just put my foot down. And I said, all right, I got to take maybe 10, 15 minutes of my time. I mean, it's not going to kill me. So anyways, um, we're doing a swing trade here. I was in it initially on the 1st of June. Then I added in one week later on the 8th. And then two days after that is when I sold it. And then three days after that is when I sold the rest. Now, I believe what happened here is I ultimately wanted to hold all of it to this point, but it was a Friday and I really didn't want to hold it over the weekend. But at the same time, my plan was telling me like, doggy, like you're, you're good. You're fine. Like stick to it. So I was like, all right, sell half, keep half. You're good. 
Either way, we're in a profit position. So this is why I say it's kind of like broken up and why we're going to go over it on the chart after we go over the numbers and everything here because I just don't want to keep you guys bouncing back and forth and all that for no reason. It might confuse you. So let's kind of break it down here. So literally the trade was done in less than two weeks. It just took me like a few extra days to make the video for you guys here. Um, so let's start with the initial order and we're going to go over it in a very various different ways. Now for anyone that's new here, we're trading options. So if you're not familiar with the way options works, one is equivalent to 100. So if you see the price at 470, it's actually 470. So I have five of them here. So you're going to multiply five times 470, which is basically 2,350. Now that's the initial investment that I put in. And I started in as a little bit of a feeler as well. I knew that I could add in if I needed to as well. This definitely was not a full size position for me. I mean, obviously, if you go back, look at some of my other trades, you know, $2,300 is, is, you know, probably like considered a small trade for me. Um, so that's basically how it went down there. And again, I bought time on it because I knew that it was going to be a swing trade. I knew that I was going to be holding it for a few days. It actually took a little bit longer than I had expected, which is partly the reason why I kind of had like that little emotional debate with myself. Like, all right, man, come on, close it out. It's Friday. You don't want to hold it over the weekend and get hit with that time decay and all this and all that. And, but on the other side, like I said, it's like, man, come on, your plan's still working out. You're still fine. Um, so it did take a little longer than expected. But either way, this is why I teach people to buy more time than you need. I definitely didn't think it would take more than two weeks, but I probably thought like at most like pushing it, it would probably just two weeks, you know? So I planned accordingly and thankfully, you know, because we always put that cushion of time for ourselves, it did actually work out in my favor. Um, so that was kind of like a little bit of a small minor lesson, I guess, if you will, on the time and all that. And like a, a live example of why it's always good to buy more time than you need. Um, so that's that. So I had five contracts, 2,350 was the initial that I put in. Then I added in another five contracts, basically now putting me to a full size position of 10 contracts. And when I added in, each contract was worth 250 now. So remember, one is equivalent to 100, so it's 250. I bought five more. So basically, five times 250 is 1,250. So that is what I added in. I added in an additional 1,250, which then put my total cost of the trade, my total investment at that point was 3,600. Because of the 2,350 from here, the 1,250 from there, that's basically all. What I'm fully into the trade with is 3,600 right there. Now, this is where I kind of say you could look at it from the perspective of saying like you almost 10 x your money, like you literally turned 250 into almost 2,500, turned 250 into, I mean, it's $150 short of it, of being able to say like 10 times in your money or 10 x your money into 2,350 here. Um, but at the same time, I like to be fair because I did start in at this price too. So I'm not gonna claim that. I'm just gonna say like, hey, we turned 3,600 into... 17,000 and that's a profit of 13,000 basically and that's that's you know how we did it in two weeks with less than four thousand dollars invested um and that's pretty much it. i know i'm saying i'm a lot because i haven't done one of these videos i want to make sure i'm not forgetting anything for you guys either you know and the last thing i want is to go back and see oh my god you forgot to say this you forgot to say that um so i'm covering all my bases here i hope you guys don't mind uh so let's let's kind of like jump in now i'm going to go to the chart and then we're going to come and close it out on the selling side here so Remember, the 1st and the 8th is when I add it in, and they're right in the morning, so the time really won't matter too much. Now, from the watch list perspective, if you remember, I basically said that I want it to go up to the 425 area for me to get puts or get short the trade, basically, saying that it's going to go down. So let's take it to where I got in at, which is the 1st, which is right here. So I got in right in the morning. So I wasn't exactly at like 425 when I got in. I think it was like maybe like 423.50 ish. And that's also partly why I got in with five contracts as well at that point is because I said, all right, well, it's not exactly my perfect entry. So let's kind of start in a little bit. If it pushes up, we get it. If not, at least we don't miss the trade. So I started in right there. Obviously it did go up, but we had our plan. I didn't panic out. I had plenty of time. You just let it sit which is what I did. Then a week later on the 8th, I figured, all right, we're not really going above 420. Now, again, the reason why I was looking at 425 is it was, first of all, it was a key area as well on like a historical time frame, but it's also a psychological type of an area. So once I was watching it a few days later, I said, all right, well, we're obviously not getting above that area. I still have my conviction, my, my theory as to why we're going down and everything. So 
And, and if anything, it looked even more like we wanted to go down too. So I said, all right, cool. I don't think we're even going to go above 420 again, which is exactly why I added in right where I did on the 8th, which is right here, which was right in the morning, right around that 420 area. I added in the additional five that I mentioned right here putting me at a full size position. Again, it wasn't the exact entry that I wanted. I was a little bit short. You know, I wanted the 425. So hopefully some other people from the watch list were able to get a better entry right at the actual 425 area there. Like I said, I started in a little early there, uh, added in right around the 420 area there. So I didn't get the perfect entry myself, but either way, um, I still got into it, kind of added in. And then what was it? Maybe two days later, I believe on the 10th right there is where I basically sold half. Right here on that Friday, and again, like I said, I'm like, man, I know we broke this area. We're going to go down more. I know we're going to. We're going to hit my profit target, blah, 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 blah. But I said, you know, I don't want to hold it over the weekend. I'm in a profit position. So that's why I closed out half on this day. Then I held it over the weekend and closed out the rest on this day. And obviously, you know, I could have made more if I was still holding it through to this point. Um, but I'm not really worried about it, to be honest with you. That's the, I don't even want to know how much more I would have made, to be honest. We're not even going to think about it. We're not even going to talk about it. Don't even worry about it. That's how you have to train yourself. You know what I mean? Because there's going to come a time that, you know, you're not going to get out of it here. It's going to go back up to it here, and you might panic out there, and you have less profit. Who knows? I don't know. Point being is just stick to your plan and, and just be happy with the profit you got. We got the profit that I wanted, and, and that was pretty much that. So to kind of wrap it up here for you guys, let's kind of finalize it and show you what we sold everything for. So like I said, on the 10th, we sold half. Now, what we had paid, the 470 and the 254, is now worth 11, which is basically 1,100. So, 5 times 1,100 is 5,500. So, right there, just by selling half, I already got my money back plus profit. So, that's why I closed it on, all right, you know, it's Friday. You know, I hope you guys understand my point. I don't want to kind of like dwell on that too much for you guys there, but I want you guys to kind of get, I'm trying to put you into the actual scenario yourself so you can kind of feel like you're there and be like, okay, I get it now. It's like, well, sheesh, you know, he kind of would have been dumb for not taking some of the profit, you know? Uh, so, that, that's kind of that. Then I closed the rest out on that Monday for 2350. So that's where I kind of say it could be 10x because 250 into 2,350, you know, these are crazy profits we're talking about here in terms of percentages, you know? So I sold five for 2,350 each, which is 11,750. So 11,750 plus the 5,500 that we collected when we sold this puts us at 17,250. So that's what we sold it for. Now, remember we did put in 3,600 to buy the trade and to get in. So you're going to subtract that from the 17,000 there. That's basically going to put you at a profit of $13,650 in two weeks using less than $4,000. And I don't know, that's pretty much that. It's just, this is, I, I wanted to make it quick. So I don't think I have much more to say, I guess, just if you would be so kind, you know, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to put a comment. We'll talk, chat, whatever it is. Um, you see guys, I'm a little rusty. Usually I'm a little bit better at ending it. Um, oh, let me just do the little arrows for you guys. You see, see, it's not me if I don't mess up a little bit, you know, and forget something, right? A little ramble here, a little ramble there, you know, all it does is remind you that it's still me. Okay guys, don't get mad. I promise. So I'll be quick with it. So this is basically where I got into it right around this area. I added into it right around that area and we got out right if I'm not mistaken, make sure I get the right time. Yeah, it was 11.24, so a little bit later. I know it was a little later in the day on that one. Let's call it right there. And then the next day, and that's pretty much how it went down, basically, from the 4.25 area down to, like, the 3.75. Obviously, it did go lower to the 3.55 area. I, per I, mean, I don't know. I personally think it's going to continue lower. Um... Well, I, I don't know. Maybe it, ho hopefully it can give a pop. We can get back into it. I'll throw it back on the watch list and all that. Um, but if not down at this area, I don't know. I want a little bit more time of it, at least consolidating or something, or maybe a pop. Who knows? Maybe we can, at least 400. What's up? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying to get into the trade if it does that. I'm obviously, you know, because I'm going to reevaluate it at that time. If it does that, you never know. Things are so political these days. Things are changing. We're in such a crazy political climate and all that. So, you know, that's why I kind of put that halt on myself for saying that there. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much that guys. If you have any questions, put it in the comments, you know, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I'll put the descriptions, the descriptions, sheesh. I'll put the links in the description below. I'm getting better. Okay. I promise you see, I'm a little bit quicker on this second part of it than I was the first one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and that, that's it. That, see, I'm not good with the goodbyes. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon.